It's from Natalie. Welcome to your new home. This is me. Fine, I'll drive. Toby, where are you? Over here, Mom. Beckett, at last, you're here. Hi, Natalie. Welcome to your new home. Now, I wanted to get you your Hamilton uniform, which I think... Oh, good. It's just exactly the right size. And Beckett, have you met my son, Toby? Hey. Hey. I thought I heard voices. Hey, Toby, good to see you. Yeah. Hi, Miles. How oh, are you? Thank you so much. You like the place? It was my ex-husband's. Spoils of war. Huh. So, how's the draft? What draft? Publisher won't wait. Can't sleep. Never gets dark here. Isn't that great? I like the dark. Well, Hamilton's a really good school. We are lucky Nick could get you in. I know it's hard back, but this will be good for us, you know? It's like a fresh start. Okay, Dad. I don't want to embarrass you. You go on. Have fun. I'd like to introduce Beckett Warner. Say hello. Hi. You can take that seat in the back. So, we need to talk about what's happened to our heroine. 
Sunday. Um, they virginated. And so... So she's without value to her family. Very good. Any other ideas? Hey, new girl. Excuse me. You might want to be careful. I'm John. Okay. So what brings you to Hamilton? I just went up to the city. Mm -hmm. Is it job or divorce? My mother died. Oh. I'm sorry, that sucks. <sighs> you dropped this. I'm afraid our garden is closed for renovation this year. Sorry. It's okay. Why don't you come with me? Come on. I'd like to introduce you to Sarah Wilson. She's a Hamilton mother and a member of our board of trustees. How do you do? And this is Vivian Carpenter. She's in charge of the upper school. We were just talking about your dad. Her father is Miles Warner. Natalie's publishing his new book. Yes. <laughs> of course. I am such a big fan of your father's. We read his last one. It had all that beautiful poetry in it. Oh, yeah, it's wonderful. I'm so excited that we have him here. No, I bet he's in college. Yeah, I just feel crazy. Um, let me take you to the nurse's office, okay? Yeah, come with me. Pamela will fix her right up. I heard about her mother. It's so sad. Okay. Then, Pamela, I think you made a mistake. That's a rectal thermometer. <laughs> well, then it's in the right place. <laughs> You're fine, thank you, Sunny. No, I'm sick. You're gonna help me out. You heard her, Chloe, out. I'm going, I'm going. Careful, we're all sick here. Hey, Chloe, wait up. Would you like to come through? You wanna hop on? So you're the new girl, huh? You can call me Pamela. Becca, do you lie down? How are you feeling? I'm fine. Just a little bit dizzy before. 
I like your necklace. Thanks. It, it was my mother's. Have you eaten today? Yeah, probably not enough, though. All right, under your tongue. Sit. I remember my first day here as a student. It was a very long time ago. It gets better. All right. Well, it looks fine. I think you're tired. Why don't you stay here, lie down for a while, and I'll come back and get you. Thank you. Ourselves. A little like a family. We pride ourselves. Well, that is exactly what she needs right what now. What are you doing here? Hey, honey, your nurse called me. We thought we'd let you sleep for a while. You okay? Yeah. Um, thank you again for staying with me. It was fine. I was working late anyway. Miles! Natalie! Beckett, how are you feeling? Much better. Thank you. Hi, I'm Miss Lawrence. Nice to meet you. Beckett? Hello. Pamela, are you ready? Sure. We were just looking for you. Get home safe. Beckett, this is the Hamilton Alumni Book Club. Ladies, shall we resume? We don't have all night. There's one way to get your blood pumping on a Friday night. You better make your escape while you can. Thanks again. It's a pleasure to meet you. Mind if I come in? Oh, hi. I wanted to see how you're doing. Fantastic. I found this in my office. I thought you might be missing it. Thank you. Your father, he mentioned that the police had been here again. Yeah. I told them that I had seen Sunday cutting herself. I should have... I should have said something earlier. Oh, Beckett, she had been suffering for a while. It was me who should have done more. Not you. Pamela brought us some dinner. Are you hungry? A little. Becca told me that you were also a Hamilton girl. I was. And when did you realize that it was your vocation to heal teenagers? This is really good. Well, I was studying uh, botanical medicine in Paris, where, incidentally, I read part of your first book. Why not the whole book? <laughs> I got distracted. How? I fell in love. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Pam? He died. 
So, are you taking Beckett out of Hamilton? Probably. No. Dad, I, I don't want to run away. You sure about this? Yeah, I'm sure. All right, then. Good. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine. I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Good night. Good night, sweetie. Thank you for having me. Come on, well, she left pretty soon after you drifted off. It was nice of her to come see you. Yeah. So, Becky, do you know what I do? You're a psychiatrist. Oh, yeah. And in the wake of Sunday Wilson's death, I'll be seeing students on a weekly basis. Did you treat Sunday? Yes, I did. Do you think about Sunday a lot? Yes. What do you think about? Why she killed herself and if she was scared, what she was so scared of exactly. What do you think she was scared of? I don't know. Aren't you the one who talked to her every day? Sunday's mom. Wow. She's, she's so good at being sad. It's not a horrible thing to say. Her daughter almost squished you. You can say whatever the hell you want. I can't believe that Pamela ate at your apartment. Her, like, great, great, great or something grandmother founded the school, so she inherited, like, mad amounts of money. Are she and your dad, like, boning hard yet? What, Jen? I'm sorry. Who's that rude? Hmm. Do you think that Chloe knew Sunday was going to jump? I mean, they were best friends. They had a pact to stay virgins together. Uh, I kind of wish I knew Sunday better. Okay. Well, you could always ask Toby. He used to go out with her. You know him? Why? Do you like him, or...? It's sign. I've got sign. Thanks. So, uh, John says you dated Sunday? Um, not really. I mean, we held hands and fed each other french fries for a summer, but, you know, that's about it. I'm sorry. I want to start. Ow. <sighs>
Rough floor is yours. Tall fun. Come on, let's go. Hi, Eddie. Hey, ladies. Beckett, this is my mother. Beckett, so nice to meet you. You too. Did you eat yet, honey? Yes, Ava. What did you have? Salad. Okay. This is all she does all day. Just like go to the gym and take vitamins and stay hydrated. Not with water, of course. I mean, you see the way that she looks at me? It's like I'm old, like she's like disgusted that I've grown this far. Jen, your room, I really like it. Thanks. Kent says it's really important for me to create my own world because I was an alcoholic. Well, you know, my dad's an alcoholic. What if they went to meetings together sometime? I wish. How long have you been seeing Dr. Kent? Once a week since I was little. Ava figured if I didn't have a dad, then I should at least have, like, a steady therapist. And she and Kent went to school together. Come on, let's get you out of that uniform. Hey, they're cute. Kick it. Kick with it. You get higher than that. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Jensky. What up? Hirsch, what are you doing? Just go sit over there. You know, I, I, I bet I can flip this chip from here using only my tongue. If that chip leaves your mouth, I'm going to dismember you. Yes, please. Hello, again. Hi. Escape? Come on. Not really. Just get this cute. Just try. OK. There you go. You want to learn? You want to teach me? <laughs> hey, Pamela, I just dropped by to see you. I thought you'd be home sooner. Okay. Hi. Hey, help me, Olivia. She's kicking my ass. What is this? Where? How did I miss that? Oh, really? <laughs> Come on, stay and help me. I'm tired. I think I'm going to go to bed. Well, then I'm out of here, too. Um, Becky, I, I wanted to give you something. I just thought... It would look incredible on you. Oh, I couldn't resist it. This is really pretty. Thank you. You are welcome. She asked me to, to comb her hair. Did you comb her hair? I wanted to. You wanted to? Becky, who used to comb your hair? My mom. Nice. Do you sometimes feel like you could have helped your mom? She, she had an aneurysm. There was, there was nothing I could do. That's true. But is that how you feel, or is that how you think you should feel? I don't know. You don't have to know. You just let your feelings come out when they're ready. In the meantime, I'm going to write a prescription. Help you sleep.
Sorry, you're my old deck. Well, that's goofy. I play goofy style. I like being goofy. <laughs> basically, the trick to the ollie is it's basically like a one-footed jump, but the second that the tail hits the ground, you're up off the board, and then your front foot slides forward and um, levels the board out. So well, I'll just show you. So, <laughs> um, here, why don't you try? I got you. Good. It's really good. Can't overthink it though. Just I mean, you just gotta get the nose down and just. That was good. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> no, no, no. He's not by myself. at the park with John Toby. I texted you. Is that why you smell like pot? I don't know. I guess some kids were smoking. It won't mix with your prescription bag. Dad, I don't smoke pot. And on that. school nights, I want you home by 7 from now on. You have homework to do, right? I don't right? need you to tell me to do my homework. Good. Come on. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Natalie, she uh, persuaded your father to read it out benefit. And um, he's not too thrilled about it. And I think he misses you. Sometimes I hear these sounds that aren't there. Do you see things? There you are. I was waiting for you. Come on, let's get out of here. this before, right? Yeah. And I'm very hygienic. You know that. Okay. Go for it. Toby is gonna love this. It's not for him. Great. You have gloves, ice, extra alcohol, extremely clean needle. Just count to 15. One, two, three, four, have a pretty amazing teacher. Where? Now you just have to teach me how to surf. I don't surf anymore. Why's that? Because of my mom. Right. Sorry, that was a stupid question. It's okay. I think you'd be a good surfer.
So, want to come over? <laughs> Just dedicated to the color. Mom, knock. Beckett, you need to go home. Now. Hey. Where's my... Dad, he's in a meeting. We got some review copies in for the book club. Natalie called. We weren't doing anything. Listen, if you rush into something that should be so beautiful, it can turn ugly. Do you understand? It's my, um... Dad know about this? No. And he doesn't need to. If you promise me not to rush into anything with Toby. Can you do that? When are you gonna see Toby again? Never if Natalie and Penn like it their way. 
Well, we can be pure as the driven snow together then. Why is that? Hirsch was with Chloe last night. I was going to see if you wanted to come over. Is everything okay? Jen, it happened before. What? Ew. Gross. I think my mom actually knew those girls. Um, I have to go. Beckett? Beckett? I was wondering if you knew these two girls. No, I didn't know them. Because Ava said that she knew them, and I know you guys went to school together, so. Yes, Ava and I did, but she was in uh, a different class. She's a few years older than me. Beckett, I really wouldn't believe too much what Ava says to you. She's having some personal issues right now. I'm sure you've noticed. You should get back to class. Only when Odysseus comes home is the heroic cycle completed. <coughs> That's what I want you to write about. Uh, a cycle from your own life. Write something brave. Like brave how? You want it tomorrow? I'll give you the weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Chloe, Paul. Hey. Chloe. Those flowers that you were drawing before in class, Sunday she had them in her hair the day she died. Look, Beckett, I don't want to play with you. Where did you find this? Someone mentioned it to me, so I looked it up. you're drawing a connection between these two girls who drowned on Sunday. I'm not drawing a connection. There is a connection. Think about it. They, they all went to Hamilton and they all killed themselves. So what is it about Hamilton that makes students want to kill themselves? I'm not quite sure yet.
If you'll just excuse us for a moment. I'm just tired. I'm tired of all this. You're not tired, Ava. You're drunk. Oh, thank you. I'm so tired of It was somebody who looked like me. I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm just a kid. No, we've been friends for a while. You know, I've been some drama. Sometimes you need a break. Yeah. Okay. Where are you going? Back. Hey, I've been looking for you everywhere. Where have you been? I thought that you were at home studying. <laughs> I am. Do you have a key for this one? Yeah, of course. where you could find them. <laughs> kind of weird. What are you looking for? Relax. What is this? It's the Shirley Temple. Ah, it's gross. How can you drink that? I think it's delicious. Your loss. <sighs> Don't lay down on that, Toby. It's disgusting. It's fine. They clean it. This place is kind of creepy. You can go back out if you want, Jen. Why is it final looking idea? What are you doing? 
I'm trying to figure out what kind of pills Pamela's giving to Chloe. This is Vicodin. Excellent. Hey, maybe we should not be going through Pamela's meds. Can we just go? Stop complaining. Am I interrupting something? I, I wasn't feeling well, so I was just looking for something to help with pain. Toby, Jen, will you go rejoin the others, please? Oh, we really weren't doing anything, Pamela. Sunday, she, uh, she gave me this the day she died. My family have been looking after this school for generations, Becca. These are private keepsakes, do you understand? Are you testing me, Beckett? Breaking into a school office crosses a line that you can't cross. Do you understand? Yes. Well, what were you thinking? I already told you I wasn't feeling Beckett, well. Beckett, do not lie to me. Dad, do you not see what's been going on here? What? She was giving pills to Sunday, okay? And now she's trying to give them to Chloe, too. <laughs> no, just listen to she's me. She's the school nurse, Beckett. If a student is taking prescribed medication, she it's holds it for It's more than that, and you're what? not listening. Than that. What are you talking about? Pamela, explain to her what you do. What is she talking about? Becky, do not walk no! away from Leave me. me. Rebecca, I, I am trying to talk to you. Rebecca? Rebecca, I am trying to talk to you. What is that? It's nothing. That, that is a hunk of metal in your belly you button. Dad, it's mine. Mine. So get out. Can I talk with her, please, Miles? Get out! Sure. You know, you really remind me of myself when I was your age. You're so stubborn. I am nothing like you, whatever you are. back pretty late. So, the deal is, you're not gonna leave the apartment, right? Okay.
think I can. Toby, I'm serious. I really need you to come over. Wait, what's wrong? I, I don't want to tell you on the phone. I have to show you something. Beckett, what's going on? Get, get over here now. <laughs> today? Yeah. You drugged me. Hey, you cut yourself. I'm just gonna clean it, okay? No. Hey, hey just, you, you know, you lie still. No. I'm worried you're gonna hurt yourself, okay? No. no hey, calm down. Get off me. Stop. <sighs> you're one of them. You know what? You're upset and I... I totally understand that, but I am not going to hurt you, I promise. Beautiful. What is it? It's for you. Hey, what's wrong? Toby, I want you to know that if anything ever happened to me, I would never do anything to hurt myself. Okay? Hey, what's going on? You won't believe me. Hey, of course I will. Pamela in the book club. 
They're trying to kill me, Toby. <laughs> I got you, didn't I? Yeah. I wasn't sure if you're ever gonna wake up. Can I borrow a shirt? Yeah. Um, I should probably get going. Your mom's gonna wake up soon. Uh, she actually just left. She's not gonna be back till later tonight after the book club meeting. Book club's tonight? Yeah, why? Wait, Toby, I need to borrow your phone, okay? Uh, Beck, what's going on? I'm sorry. This is nuts. We should call the police. Miles, I know this is hard, but this is what kids Becca, do. how could this happen? This is what kids do. She'll be home when she's ready. Trust me. freaking out and looking for you. No, no, don't freak out. I'll explain later. I just need you to meet me. Can you please meet me? Wait, why are you on Toby's phone? Jen! Look, my mom's at the door. I'm gonna call you back in like two minutes, okay? No, don't hang up. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mom. You look so beautiful. What's going on? She's in her room.
Hey, it's me. Toby? They have done. No, no, we have to help her. What? I think they're gonna kill her, Toby. Please believe me. I'm really scared. Can you meet me by the tunnel? Okay. When it's dark. Jen, it's Toby. Toby? Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just here with mommy. Bored out of my mind. So you're sure you're okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, gotta go. Okay. Freak. I just, I can't, I can't wait anymore. You didn't answer your phone. We have to do something. I didn't answer my phone because I was talking with Beckett. Where is she? I don't know. She didn't say, but she is safe. And she <sighs> promised me that she would call you later tonight. Oh, God. All right. <sighs> Becky. This is Beckett's. Well, I don't know how it got here. Are you sure she was yeah. right? I have so much filing to do. Yeah, well, I guess I'll, I'll go home and uh, I'll wait for a call. Get all this finished in time. I'll come home and we'll be together. All right, it's fine. <laughs>
with me forever. She was pure. It's not my fault. She ran away. Your blood is worthless to me now. But my blood, it can help you live. Don't be afraid. Taste it. <laughs> 